Well, hi everybody and good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski on this Monday morning as we now push into the middle of July. Still no scorching heat anytime soon. We had that nice cool down for the second half of last week. It lasted through the first part of the weekend did start to warm up a little bit yesterday and now we start to get back into the hotter temperatures of the next couple of days as a ridge of high pressure builds uh, upper level high pressure builds into the central plains for a couple of days at least here uh, so we'll be sunny and pretty toasty this afternoon not not super hot we're not talking triple digits or anything like that but very warm and humid conditions out there later today and there's actually a frontal boundary that's going to begin to make its way into northern Nebraska later this afternoon. That front will eventually stall out right in here or even retreat back to the north, but it will be the focal point for developing thunderstorms. The other area we'll watch is out here in the high plains of Colorado and western Nebraska, and those will push eastward. So we've got two areas to watch, one of these up north building southward, and then one out west that will push eastward. Now, anything that develops before 5 o'clock should mainly be north of Highway 92. That's the highway that rolls through uh, Broken Bow, St. Paul, uh, Osceola to Omaha. Most of the activity will be in the northern half of the state, but it will shift southward this evening. So will this, and then the storms out west will roll eastward along the Nebraska and Kansas border. I'm more concerned about these for uh, for heavy rainfall than I am with the other storms out there. But watch for some locally heavy rain in southern Nebraska, northern Kansas. Otherwise, severe weather also a possibility mainly during the evening. Once we get past about midnight, the chances of storms start to quickly wane. There won't be much left out there after midnight and they will be much weaker if there is anything still left after midnight. And by tomorrow morning, it's all out of here and we're on our way to a quiet day for your Tuesday. So that front's kind of stalled out in your area Tuesday morning. It's actually going to retreat back to the north during the day Tuesday. So we will see another day of heat, humidity, some wind out of the south again, probably at least enough to help with some relief from the heat and humidity. Uh, storms will try to fire up later in the day. It's not a very good chance, maybe something out there. I'm really eyeballing areas near the South Dakota border. It, a lot of it depends on where the front is, but forecast models are a little bit mixed right now. Some have storms developing and pushing through these areas here, and then others are a little farther north, such as this model. This model right here is going to show activity pushing uh, west-northwest to east-southeast tomorrow evening and overnight tomorrow night. And it could be one area of storms. It could be several lines of storms that make their way eastward. Notice how far north they are, but uh, this is all north of the front, which is sitting right about here in northern Nebraska, Highway 20 right in here. So yes, most of the activity could be here, but I'll show you, as I'm going to show you in just a bit, the Storm Prediction Center is also accounting for the potential for storms right in here as well. So we'll keep an eye on that. But again, one or multiple lines of showers, thunderstorms through the overnight hours, and then they will push out and clear out of here Wednesday morning. By that point, the front is now sitting across southern Nebraska. It has now made its way south, and we will cool things back a little bit for the end of the week, for the second half of the week. So. Severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center. The Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather. It covers most of the local four viewing area with a marginal risk out west and also a low end marginal risk farther east. Biggest threats, large hail, damaging wind gusts. And again, watch that locally heavy rainfall right in here. Tomorrow, notice now again, the forecast model I showed you was more aggressive up here. The Storm Prediction Center has this whole area a little farther southward. About Highway 2, and then north of that. Slight risk of severe thunderstorms, a lower end marginal risk here, and then that threat drops off as you go to the southwest. So our biggest threats tomorrow night, or late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. Damaging wind gusts, large hail, once again locally heavy rainfall, especially if you get storms that roll over the same areas over and over again, and then also can't rule out an isolated tornado. It's not a big chance, but there is the low possibility. I'm not as aggressive with thunderstorm activity on Wednesday. Eastern Nebraska maybe, but I don't think most of us will see much on Wednesday here. I did not include that in the forecast tri for the Tri-Cities at least. So highs today, upper 80s and low to mid 90s. It's going to be pretty toasty out there, a little bit above average for most of us, also a little hum more humid as well. Tonight then we'll fall back into the uh, low to mid 60s by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's high is still pretty toasty for most of us. Notice a little cooler up north near that frontal boundary, more clouds around. So a lot more 80s here, but most of us back into the low and mid 90s. Tomorrow night into Wednesday morning, mostly 60s, a few low 70s out there. And then as we look ahead to your Wednesday, notice we're starting to cool down a little bit. Mid upper 80s, some low 90s across the south and the west. 
so the cooler air starting to budge in just a little bit and we will continue to trend cooler as the week progresses and we'll keep the thunderstorm chances going here we may not see as much activity like i mentioned i'm not including anything for wednesday afternoon into wednesday night right now for the tri-cities area next chance thursday night mainly thursday night into friday morning there might be something during the day but mostly going to be at night uh, and then maybe more rounds all the way through this upcoming weekend as the temperatures trend downward low 80s over the weekend some very nice weather for the middle of july no scorching heat on the way although we may start to warm back up as we push into next week may start to see those temperatures climb back to near and maybe even slightly above average as we get towards the middle of next week so no again no just brutal heat uh, triple digits or anything like that we'll have a couple of days though that might push a little above average but still most of our days below average especially again late this week into the upcoming weekend so with that i'm going to let you all go i want to thank you all for watching on this monday morning i'll see you all again on tuesday hope you have a wonderful day enjoy the day talk to you all later bye